very good morning, good afternoon, good night, whenever you will watch this video. So today our topic is static balancing and dynamic balancing. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper so that you can note down the important points. Now without wasting much time, we will start this video. So over here in both of the terms that balancing is common. So we will understand the meaning of balancing first. So to understand the meaning of balancing, I will draw one axis of the shaft or you can say rotation of shaft. That shaft will rotate about this axis. On this shaft, we will consider one disturbing mass M D. D means disturbing and means mass. So when that system will rotate at that time on this system due to this disturbing mass some disturbing forces or you can say unbalanced force is created. Now which unbalanced force is present? So on this mass in this direction one centrifugal force is there. So that centrifugal force is known as unbalanced force. So due to this unbalanced force what's happened? Your shaft will start to vibrate. Also, wear and tear is there. Also, due to that vibration, what's happened? Misalignment of the shaft is there. And due to that misalignment on the bearings of the shaft, extra load or extra pressure is created so that your system may fail. So, to avoid the failure of your rotating system, balancing is necessary. Now, this type of balancing is done in the rotating as well as in reciprocating systems. As for example, in the IC engine balancing is necessary. As for example, in centrifugal pump, also in the turbines, etc. Balancings are required. Now, balancing has total two types. First one is static balancing and second one is dynamic balancing. So, first we will start with the static balancing. So, over here I will write that static balancing. Now for static balancing, two conditions must be fulfilled. First condition is which one? That the axis of rotation and axis and axis of center of gravity must lie on a same line. So we will understand the first condition that axis of rotation, axis of rotation. So that is your axis of rotation. So I will write like this. That is your axis of rotation as the shaft is rotating with some angular velocity omega. Now next is what that axis of center of gravity. Now axis of center of gravity if I want to draw. So first of all I will find the center of mass of this disturbing mass. So center of mass must lie on the center of this mass and if I will draw one line or one axis which is passing through the center of mass of this uh, disturbing mass then that axis is known as which axis that axis is known as axis of center of gravity. So on from the figure you can see that the both of the axes are parallel with each other. That means this condition is not satisfied. That means the system is not statically balanced. So if you want to make that system uh, statically balanced, so what you have to do that you have to transfer this axis of center of gravity on this axis of rotation. Now how you will transfer? So for that purpose over here I will consider or I will add one balancing mass which is your m b b means balancing m means mass so if you will do so so what's happened now center of axis of this balancing mass will be this so that is your center uh, axis of center of gravity now both axis of center of gravity if you will take the average so now center of gravity will pass through this axis of rotation as for example supposing if i will draw one ring and if I want to find out the center of axis or you can say axis of center of gravity. So it will pass from this center like this same way over here two masses are there. And if you want to find out the axis of center of gravity. So what obvious it will pass from the axis of rotation. That means first condition is satisfied so that that system is statically balanced. Now second condition is what that is important that summation of all centrifugal forces acting on rotating system must be 
जीरो और स्टेटमेंट इज वॉट फॉर द सेम कंडीशन दैट रिजल्टेंट सेंट्रिफिकल फोर्स ऑफ रोटेटिंग सिस्टम मस्ट बी जीरो नाउ वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कंडीशन दैट एज यू नो दैट समिशन ऑफ ऑल Centrifugal force is acting on the system is equals to zero means what? That uh, on the disturbing mass that is your uh, centrifugal force on the balancing mass away of the center one more this uh, centrifugal force which is F C. Now supposing that uh, F C is five newton and that F C which is acting on the balancing mass is also five newton. So, if you will take the summation of the centrifugal forces, summation of all centrifugal forces acting on the system, so it will be your phi plus. That will be your phi. But that phi I will denote by negative sign. Why negative sign? Because that is a phi newton in positive direction, and that is a phi newton in negative direction. So phi minus phi plus minus phi is equals to zero. That means uh, that condition is satisfied. That summation of all centrifugal forces uh, acting on a rotating system is zero. Also, another statement is what the resultant centrifugal force acting on the rotating system is zero. Now, if you want to find out the resulting centrifugal force, so what obvious that is your phi plus minus phi. Then also it will be zero. That means second condition is also. Satisfied. Now you can say that the system is statically balanced. So you have to remember the two conditions to balance the uh, system statically. Now we will start with the uh, dynamic balancing. So over here I will write second one, which is your dynamic balancing. Now for dynamic uh, dynamic balancing also I will draw this type of diagram that that is your axis of rotation. so and on this uh, shaft or axis of rotation one mass is present which is your disturbing mass md on which unbalanced force or you can say centrifugal force is acting away of the center to balance this over here one more balancing mass i will consider md on which centrifugal force is created in the downward direction or you can say away of the center now first condition is as usual which one that summation of all centrifugal forces acting on rotating system must be zero or statement is which one or statement that resulting centrifugal force acting on the rotating system is equals to Zero. So first condition is satisfied. Why it is satisfied? Because the over here once again, suppose a five newton in the upward direction. So that is your five newton in the downward direction. So if you will take the summation, so how will take five plus negative direction means minus five. So summation of all uh, centrifugal forces is zero. Also resultant centrifugal force is also zero. Why? Because if you want to find out the resultant centrifugal force. R F C means resultant centrifugal force. Then also it will be five minus five, which is equals to zero. Now next condition is important. That also you have to satisfy. Next condition is what? That summation of all couples due to the dynamic force, dynamic forces acting on rotating. System must be zero. Or statement is what for that second condition similar to that which one that resultant couple due to the dynamic forces must be zero. Now we will try to understand the second condition. In second condition, the new body is that couple. now couple means what that equal and opposite direction forces will create a couple as for example supposing if you want to take a turn on your bike so what you will do you will apply a couple how that uh, on the handle you will apply the equal and opposite direction forces like over here 5 newton in uh, that uh, forward and 5 newton in backward so that is your equal and opposite forces which will create the couple so that is the meaning of couple now uh, summation of all couples means what that over here Which couple is there? 
फाइव इन पॉजिटिव डायरेक्शन फाइव इन नेगेटिव डायरेक्शन सो दैट इज वन कपल सो यू हैव टू क्रिएट वन मोर कपल सो दैट समेशन ऑफ ऑल कपल्स ड्यू टू दिस डायनेमिक फोर्स डायनेमिक फोर्स मीन्स वॉट साइंटिफिकल फोर्स ड्यू टू दिस फोर्स कपल इज क्रिएटेड एंड राइट नाउ वी हैव ओनली वन कपल सो टू बैलेंस दिस कपल इक्वल एंड ऑपोजिट फोर्सेज वन मोर कपल यू हैव टू क्रिएट सो हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट वन मोर कपल सो ओवर हियर आई विल कीप वन मोर बैलेंसिंग मास so that on that balancing mass centrifugal force will create in the upward direction so if i will attach the balancing mass over here so that what i can say that the first couple is this one due to first mass and second mass and second couple is due to the second mass and third mass so summation of both of the couples must be zero then only system is dynamically balanced now uh over here supposing with the help of first mass and second mass couple is say suppose 10 newton in positive direction and couple value for uh, second mass and third mass is again 10 newton but opposite in direction then only the answer will be zero then only summation of couple will be zero now over here if you will uh, take the moment supposing that is your point that is your point o over here point o if i will consider if you take the moment that about o that means that point o is fixed so due to this mass moment or couple will create in the downward direction that is your dynamic force or centrifugal force the couple will create in the downward direction say minus 10 newton and uh, due to this balancing mass couple is created in the or moment is created in the upward direction that means first moment is in downward direction second moment is in upward direction so to equal and opposite forces having the zero result in that means summation of this uh, uh, first couple is 10 minus 10 and second come couple is plus 10 so 10 plus minus 10 is equals to zero that means second condition is also satisfied supposing if this mass if i will locate over here so what's happened so summation of all couples may never be zero why because again i will take the moment about o so what's happened first couple is created in the downward direction as centrifugal force is created in the downward direction and second couple is also created in downward direction that means negative 10 negative 10 so negative 20 that means summation is not zero of the couples that is why whenever you locate one mass so condition is what that another mass is always located at an angle of 180 degree or another mass is located in the opposite direction to satisfy this condition that summation of all couples must be zero so this is all about the dynamic balancing now in the next video i will explain about the different methods of balancing like balancing of a single mass with the help of a single mass rotating in a single plane the next method is balancing of a single mass with the help of a single mass but rotating in a different plane then next third method is which one that balancing of a several masses rotating in a same plane and last one is very much important regarding to the numericals that the balancing of a several masses which are rotating in the different plane so now I would like to end this video. So till then, read hard, work hard. Thank you very much.